one needs to hear this, but please don't start that podcast. You are not funny and you are not insightful. And we don't want to hear it. <laughs> we don't want to hear your colorist jokes about James Harden and how his beard is nasty and how his beard got fried chicken and Coke 45 in it. We don't want to hear your Joe Rogan style racist ass jokes about black people and how we're from the planet of the apes. We don't want to hear your podcast about black women and why we're so undesirable. Unplug the microphones, please. Unplug the microphones, please. And go to www.indeed.com and get a job. Get a job. Back to work. We don't want to hear it. No padre tunnel. You motherfuckers are buying microphones instead of buying toolbox. Back to work. on time of course not of course not of course not me on time come on let's be serious i'm never on time for anything <laughs> alexa what time is it it's 3 53 p.m have a good afternoon thank you so y'all hey y'all it's your sister so I'm supposed to be at this event for Candy at 4 p.m. <laughs> to celebrate her new show coming out with Bravo, child. And I'm running late, of course I'm running late. Of course, of course I'm running late. I'm hungry, all I've had is a parfait today. Like, I am hungry, but I was at my laptop all day writing. Um, so yesterday morning, like the, la the, the two nights before yesterday, I stayed up late writing my script. Yesterday morning, I was supposed to send the script to someone who's very, very established. I go to the computer screen, the, con the screen is totally broken. So in order to fix the laptop, it would take five to seven, it would take what, seven to 10 business days for me to get it fixed. I need the laptop now. So I had to buy a whole new laptop. Thank goodness I'm at a place in my life where I can just drop $3,000 like on a whim like that because I have to have a laptop. I can't wait. So my older laptop, I'm gonna get it fixed and that'll be my that'll be my travel laptop. This new one will be my home laptop. Let me order my Uber, cause you know, a bitch don't drive. <laughs> Let me get on to Candy's event. I'm so excited to see her. I haven't seen Candy since we shot our show together which remind me to let y'all in on some tea with that. But um, yeah, so let's go. Let's go ahead and go see Candy and the gang.
was at Old Lady Gang tonight. What a night. I feel like Candy, I think Candy gets her flowers. I think Candy gets her, I was gonna say, mm, I feel like she doesn't, but I think she does. I think Candy does get her flowers. Like, there's no denying like Candy's work ethic. 
that lady's crazy, like in a good way. Like she's she works incredibly hard. And um, she's one of the people in the business that I'm like, man, if I could just be half of what she is, half of what she is, like, I'd be good. Like, she is just amazing. She's an amazing, amazing, amazing person. Uh, and I'm really blessed that she invited me and I got to bring Sasha and Q and we had a good time. Um, it is 7.43, I have a 7 a.m. flight <laughs> to LA. Cause I'm gonna go do something special with a pretty big singer. Shit, I just got asked to do this yesterday though. So I'm trying to see if I'm gonna have anything to wear. So I did contact a stylist to see if she could hook me up. Uh, I'm gonna check my phone now to see like if she found anything for me. If not, I'm gonna just have to figure it out. I'll check in with you guys later. It is 3.47. Flight is at 7.20. I needed like some fits, but the stylist that I reached out to here, she just didn't have anything that I think I would like to wear for the video. So, so I don't have anything to wear. Um, I did reach out to a friend of mine who's a stylist in LA. So prayerfully she could grab something for me. Um, I don't have no wig on, so I gotta go install my wig. <laughs> in the morning so uh this is self-styling for this video which they made clear from the beginning so um let me get myself together <laughs> funny staying at this hotel the last time I came to this hotel was last I want to say August I was dating someone and like he surprised me with like this like surprise weekend we were supposed to do all this like stuff together and we're supposed to stay here and our experience was so bad they didn't let us get into our room and it just was really ridiculous but Let's see how this day goes. Okie dokie, here we are in my room. <sighs> my left arm is killing me because I got the booster yesterday. So this is sore as hell. But honey child, here we are. Here we are. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy? Like I was telling y'all earlier, the last experience that I had coming to this hotel was so fucked up. And you know what? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna sit down and give y'all a little story time when I figure out how to open this damn door. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Not nah. y'all ain't see that. Oh lord! How embarrassing! Just embarrassing myself in front of my in front of my YouTube family during Women's History Month? Huh. Not during Women's History Month, I'm embarrassing myself. This view is gorgeous. This view is gorgeous. All right. I have a couple hours before I have to be at the shoot. So I think I'm just gonna lay it down for a little bit or whatever. Lay it down, lay it down, lay it down, lay it down, lay it down. I wanna run, I wanna run, I wanna run, I wanna run, I wanna run. Ah. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> lay down for a little bit and then start getting myself ready. So I'll see y'all in a bit. I, I have that. Okay. But yeah, I think this is a... Cause they wanted like a, something that's not dated. I do feel like this is not necessarily dated. No, like if I were to watch a video in 10 years, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's so 2006. Yeah, no. No. I feel like this is just creative. Like, mm -hmm. this is cool. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Finishing up my makeup. It is, what time is it, child? It is 1.05 and I have to be ready by 2 o'clock they're gonna come get me but i just finished up my makeup um i think i'm gonna do a red lip today i don't know i'm gonna do like something colorful but i have two fits for the for this video shoot one is supposed to be like a white t-shirt jeans and another one is like like a timeless fashion forward moment that i'm gonna do so uh, i'm really excited and I cannot wait for y'all to see what artist this is that I'm gonna be in her video. Like, it's really, really exciting. So, especially for me, um, you know, I had one experience recently where I did a music video with some people and they were so unprofessional, like, so just, everything was so ghetto, but like, this experience right now just reminded me like what I'm actually used to, which is like, a flight being arranged where you don't have to, hey, the flight doesn't have a seat, so now I have to go to the airport and fight for a seat. And you know what I mean? Uh, there's food, like I came and they paid for my breakfast and there's fruits waiting on me, you know, in my hotel room, like there's water, like there's all these treats for me. They picked me up in a private driver. I didn't have to fend for my own ride to the set, you know? And um, at the set, I know a lot of the people that are involved with this artist. So it's reputable stylist. I, I don't have to go, well, because I'm just being featured in the video, I did have to get my own stylist, but you know, the styles that I do know out here, very professional, like it just reminded me like, okay, girl, like when, when, you, when you sit in the pig pen, like just, ex you have to expect to get dirty when you sit with pigs, like in the pig pen. And I'm just so fortunate that in my life, these past like five years of my life, I've taken major leaps every year. And I just have to remind myself like what I'm used to doing and this is the treatment that I'm used to. And this, I cannot go any lower than this anymore. Like I can't afford to do it just my sanity alone like I can't afford to do unprofessional shit with unprofessional people um and then you know I deserve more and when I work with people I'm very professional I've never had any complaints like not from BET, VH1, TV1, Madame Noir, Essence Fest uh I mean I, I've worked with so many all black network now um MTV, like I've beat, like I've I've worked with so many networks and people. I've never been called unprofessional. I've never, I as a matter of fact, I've always told like Jess, like you're one people, well, you're one person we never have to worry about. You are gonna come in, do your makeup, do your hair. If we have that for you, you're gonna you're gonna take advantage of it too. But you know, you just go to your trailer and you stay there until it's time to come out. Like that, that's just always been me. Like my work ethic is always great, and I love when I'm just amongst other people who have you know, mutual respect and the same is there for them. So I'm really excited. Can't wait to show you guys the artist that I'm I'm gonna be working with. I think you guys are gonna love this person. Uh, you guys love them already. So I can't wait. So let's go. Hi. Girl, y'all, my friend Sandra is here. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandra, 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 Sandra. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> Sandra. <laughs> Deux parties, oui, c'est pas une seule mano, c'est deux, oui, non, je suis là des... Oh, you know what? Oh, I get two of these? There's another one. Oh, et puis, go on table, go on table. Ok, bon, ma louve, c'est pas qu'il y a un table. Girl, I had got, I hit myself here. Because I didn't realize that this, uh... This is nice. Girl, I hit myself in this. Because <laughs> you was walking Yeah, like, I was like, whoa. Bon, ma bon, ma petite adeo, bon, bon, jacket. Moi, parce que l'on t'y j'en... It's mucho frio. I went to Dallas for a nice little cute weekend, come back, 
When I left, gas was four eighty nine. Girl, not now. Gas is like eight dollars. <laughs> Girl, Angeles of Los is too expensive for me. I'm sorry, but Atlanta's on some bullshit too, though. I heard. I heard. Atlanta is on major bullshit right now, like with with everything, with pr yeah. the prices of everything. Come to LA a few times, and she know. Always bring a jacket. Bruh, always. <laughs> I never catch it when it's nice. Like, I always hear, oh, LA weather is so nice. It's so sunny. Mba jump, mba jump, wa sun, na baba. It was so nice. When I'm shock, shock from me, LA, mba jump, zon soleil. Of course, bum shit, da. Oh, yes, oh, yes. It's nice. I forgot this is Beverly Girls. Sunday, I gave me a, a frap. <laughs> Frappuccino. Yes, girl. Yeah, this was where he took me, child. Girl, you cannot say his name. Well, I'm gonna bleep it out. <laughs> girl, fuck him. And that motherfucking flappy tummy of his. Cause he had that fold and I never complain about that. That's one thing like niggas, they gonna have all these complaints. Like niggas will have all these complaints, all these standards. The nigga had a tummy that had three flat, like it, it, it flapped. Fold. It flapped because like, I guess he had lost weight or whatever. Yeah. But I think he, I think he had an eating disorder. I don't think he lost weight by working you, out. You loved him for who he was. I did. Like, I really loved him for who he was. The nigga had, like... He was ain't shit. And he was always musty. <laughs> Just stop! 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 That's he how was! Know, that's how you know he was in love. You Yo, know, like, I, yeah, I you was like, like, you know what? Musty, but you know but what? yeah. I love you. Yep. You sweating during sex, but you know what? Girl, I used to... I girl, you. I used to love him through the must. And I could never, I could never hug him. I could never like sleep with him after sex. Oh, no. The bed would be drenched. Like he, it's like he was like, it's like he was in a fat suit. Like something was terribly wrong. Like so I was like, you know, and that's. He, and he never realized like he just slept through the sweat. Girl, he would just sleep there. I'm like, this is nasty. So I would just be in my own. You know, I'm small, so I'd be all the way on the other side of the bed, child. Speaking of sex. So I always hear my neighbors upstairs having sex. sex. Like it's girl, I file a complaint because I'm oh, not having no I sex, so I don't need nobody else having that. But one thing I do appreciate about them, for some reason, for some odd reason, because it's like during like two o'clock, three o'clock, so everything's quiet, right? For some odd reasons, after they done hunching, I hear the shower come on. Your boss I love. Your boss I love. Your boss I love. Your boss I love. Are they white? I think they're white. What? Yeah. And they be showering like, like after sex? <laughs> oh shit. Every time. First of all, never, it's a lot if they shower. It like, never fails. It never fails. Like they go right into white the shower. White people hate showering. Did you see Love is Blind this season when Nick went to his family house sure. and his family was like, oh, they were telling they were telling his the girlfriend. The family was hating. The family said they hate he, him. He takes two showers a day. You know, how are you going to deal with that? Like, he's like y'all not tired of being like that? Like, and that's and that's the reason why we're in this panoramic. That's exactly why we're in this panoramic. But you know his family was hating on him, though, right? They was hating on his ass. But you also know Nick is gay, right? He gay. He very gay. That nigga is gay, gay, he gay. Is gay. He is gay. And he don't. It, he go up for drama. I don't understand. Did you see the uh, reunion? I thought the reunion was a little rushed, but I get it. It was whack. What What else do we have to talk about? This is over. Yeah, this season was horrible anyway. It was not. First I'm, of all, I be trying to do work, but. <laughs> the the Wi-Fi not working? The laptop is just frozen. Is it that is, the work laptop? It's the work laptop. They said it's frozen. It, it doesn't First work. First of all, Dell? Dell, child. During Black Women's Month? <laughs> you know I screamed at you know valet, right? Because I always going to be 47 I was like, doing black women's month? No. He was like, I was like, no. He no. Said, just get it. I need all the discounts. Like, get, get it validated. I was like, I sure will. This is really frozen. Girl, this, girl look at what they got Sunday. They got <laughs> Sunday working on Adele. Girl, this is what? What year are we in? What that mock you? You're like, am I? And I can't believe this big, big company like this is get, giving me Adele. Adele? Adele. Mm. 
Not Adele. And it's frozen. During Black Women's Month. <sighs> A frozen Dell. A frozen Dell, child. Not a Dell. Not hello from the other side. <laughs> mm-hmm. Look at they said they're gonna come close to three. Okay. So we'll see, child. Bum bum chilling. Bum bum see coffee, no? Oh, how are you? Lay up in lay up in pick up for video. Oh, wow, I'm my machine. No? I'm my scalad la. I've been pick up. Oh, 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 thank you, sir. Thank you. That's a bill. Oh, my machine, machine. The car is clean. They get the game. They get the game. Much a captain win. You know. That's how it's done. That's how it's done when you're working with professionals. When you're working with professionals, it's like that. You get machine. You get money. They're not sending their uncle, cousin, sister to pick you up. No, no, no. It's not. Oh, you can't sit down like my mom. No, no. You get hotel bar. I'm in the Beverly Hills. I'm in the hills of Beverly. It's like that. Wait. You don't have to work professionals. It's like that. That's how they treat you. So I went on that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a very painful time in my life. I was nine years old. Uh, my mom let me sleep over a family member's house. And that night, I was in a back room. He's here. Okay, do it like you. Okay, do it. Okay. Well, Shoot. Oh. <laughs> okay. One, One, two, two three. three. <laughs> Good morning, children. You know what? Today is what? Tuesday is International Women's Day. Happy International Women's Day. Fuck that. Happy Black Women's Day. <laughs> Happy Black Women's Day, y'all! Shit! Happy Black Women's Day. Happy Black Women's Day, okay? Shoot, I'm here for the Black Women's. Uh, no, but yeah, Happy International Women's Day to all the women out there killing it, especially the Black ones. <laughs> um, during Women's Month? Yes, it is Women's Month. I, I love the fact that it's Women's Month. I think that women are supposed to be celebrated, especially the Black ones. <laughs> um, but uh yeah like i feel like we should always be celebrated always 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 the fact that we have women's bodies like the fact that we have wombs like that alone is it calls for constant celebration <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> cuz it's a lot of shit that be going on in these bodies <laughs> praise the lord <laughs> Whew. uh <laughs> but um y'all Yesterday was a dream. Yesterday was a dream. Yesterday was a dream. You know, I was talking to Money Long's team yesterday. Just like throughout the day, just having these conversations. And hearing them talk about her. She has uh, one of her co-managers, Rashad. He said something to me that I don't think I've ever heard any management that I've ever had or anybody else's manager say. He said that my job is to serve her. My job is to serve her and to know her intentions and to behave accordingly. And when Rashad said that, wow, just wow. Like, you guys would be surprised at how many times like an artist or anybody can have a manager and it's like your manager is going against you. Like, this is supposed to be the person who has your back and they're going against you. Like. I've had experiences 
that I could really sit down and tell y'all about, but it would just place a dark cloud on here. And I feel like my vlogs have are so positive. And yes, I share some moments, but I don't want to get too dark here. But it's like you, you, it is so clear sometimes that people align themselves with you to suck you dry. It has nothing to do with them partnering with you. They don't even see the bigger picture. They don't see the vision. They're just there solely to suck you dry, to suck the life out of you, to do no work, <laughs> to bring nothing to the table, just to suck you dry. And you have to really be careful because that's most managers. Like, it is most managers. That's why you see artists and creatives go through so many managers. Because a lot of these people just come in to suck you dry. But Mani has a very good team around her. Another thing, too, is, you know, I was asked to come do this with them very last minute. But... The way her team went above and beyond to treat me well. I mean, you would think I'm doing a song, a song with the girl. <laughs> like you would think I'm doing a song with the girl. The way they the way they treated me. Made sure I had a private driver. I didn't have to ask for a seat on the plane. They gave me a ticket that had a seat made sure I stayed in a very nice hotel in, in Beverly Hills. Made sure that food, like I didn't have to worry about food. Made sure my friend had valet, uh, Sandra had valet. Like you get on set, are you okay? Every five minutes, hey, you need anything? Hey, we've got this over here, we've got that over here. Do you need anything? Do you need anything? Hey, are you all right? Hey, how you feeling? Like it's like, not that I haven't had good experiences, right? But I had an experience recently where I was on a song with these people and they treated me like total shit. Like to the point where like I had to ask for food. I had to ask to be fed. And when I asked for food, it was like, how dare you ask for food? You fucking roach. Like, that was like, why the fuck are you asking for food? You know what I mean? Like, I'm on a song with these people. And this is how I was being treated. No driver. Like, no... But it just was insane. And I was on a song with these people. It, it's just, it, it, but being here just really reminded me of, you know, this is how you're supposed to be treated, Jess. This is how you're supposed to be treated. Like people are supposed to treat you like you are a human being. They're supposed to treat you with dignity. They're supposed to talk to you, you know, in respectful tones. Nobody's here trying to touch me inappropriately. I mean, like, no, there's no inappropriate conversations. There was the owner of the house where we were said something weird to someone, and I saw Mani, like, almost lose her cool. Because she's like, yeah, ain't nobody going to have no inappropriate moments where I'm working. You know, and I'm just thinking about just this one experience that I had like on this video shoot where like I literally have a video on my phone for 13 minutes where this man kept basically like trying to pressure me into like putting his tongue in my mouth touching me inappropriately like and, you know I'm just trying to laugh it off because I'm like yo like let's just get this fucking video like no like relax no And not saying that most of my experiences aren't good because my experiences are great most of the time. Like I'm somebody who's blessed to be able to say like I've worked with MTV, VH1, TV1, WeTV, 
All Black Network, Madam Norm, I One, Digital, like <sighs> Essence. You know what I mean? Like <sighs> that I can go down the brands that I've worked with. I've never had those experiences when I go to those places. And that's just a reminder that, you know what, like when you sit in the pig pen, you're gonna get treated like a pig. When you go and you sit down in a pig pen with pigs, you gotta be, you gotta expect to be treated like a pig. But when you sit amongst people who have vision and intention, respect, dignity, the conversations are the same. Like, Side conversations ain't even inappropriate. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it just was a, a, mind, a reminder. Like, girl, don't ever do that again. Don't ever, ever lower yourself and go sit in a pig's pen ever again. Um, it's okay to want better for yourself. It's okay to demand respect. It's okay. But anyway, in most cases, I don't even have to demand that. <laughs> like. In most cases, things are good. Things are good, respectful. And um, I'm really living my dream. Like, I wake up every day as a black woman who is first generation Canadian American, <laughs> but I have two Haitian immigrants for parents, first child of my mother, first creative of my family, no guidance. I've just been doing this on my own and I've done so well for myself. And I think sometimes I will have moments of discouragement when I have a bad experience and it's like, no girl, you can't do that no more. Because like you're really out here killing it, period. You're killing it, period. And like, my trajectory is so amazing because God, God has amazing plans for me down the pipeline. All I have to do is just be faithful with my talents that God has given me. I was on set yesterday and there was this producer on set who literally, I shot a pilot with a year and a half ago. Actually, no, in 2020, like 2020 for someone else and she was on set and she's like, hey, I heard that you're writing a script. I was speaking to Remy and she said that you're writing a really, really good script, where is it? And it's so funny, she was asking me for that because I pulled out my script and I had my friend Sandra reading it. And Sandra was reading, I mean, she read it so fast and she was like, this is amazing. Like, she kept laughing, like I could hear her chuckling as she's reading it. Like. And she's she like, Jess, this line right here, oh my God. My mom used to say that shit. Like, she used to say it just like this, Jess. Like, Jess, I think you should put this here. Or like, every everything that she said, it was already notes I had taken down. When your friends see your vision and when other people see your vision, like, I don't know if y'all understand. When you got a vision and people see that shit, and people are ready to align themselves with that because they see the vision, like, that's a God thing. That's a God thing. I really feel like God really wanted me to be here, to have these God moments, to like, just to remind myself, like, girl, you are God's child. And the gifts that you have, they are God given and God will steer me. So I'm gonna remind you on this Black Women's Day, amen. Okay, it's International Women's Day, okay, but Black women, <laughs> especially us, because I feel like we're so built for the struggle. Whew. I want us to stop struggling. Like, I want us to walk in our purpose, walk in our gifts, doors to open for us. Like, we deserve that. We deserve it. We deserve every good thing under the sun. Just because we exist as black women. Like, we deserve 
everything under God's sun. I know I deserve that. I know I deserve great things. I deserve to walk in my gifts. I deserve to have a man in my life that's going to add to my gifts. It's going to nurture me. And I am. I deserve friends that are going to see my vision and, and me do the same in, their, in return. When they do something, I'm there. That's actually how I am for my friends. They want to do something, I'm there. Want me to post? I post. <laughs> no questions asked. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, just a couple thoughts. All right, I'm going to lay back down for a little bit. Then it's going to be time for me to get out of here. And go back home to Atlanta. Then I got I to gotta turn around and come right back to L.A. Because guess what? I'm shooting my video. I'm shooting my first music video in three years. I'm very excited about it. Because it's me doing it. Me paying for it. Um, my vision. I'm really, really excited for it. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. Happy International Women's Day to all my black women. <laughs>